In this tutorial, we're going to set up a site in Dreamweaver. We're going to create a new page using a CSS layout and save a document. So let's get started. First, we need to set up our local site. So on the menu bar, we're going to go to Site, New Site, and your Setup dialog box appears. If you've used any previous versions of Dreamweaver, you're going to notice that the Site Setup dialog box has been redesigned and a little more simplified. There are no longer basic and advanced views, and now to create a website in Dreamweaver CS5, we only need to name it and select the local site folder, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and name this DW for Dreamweaver. And this site folder, I've already created a folder on the desktop called DW, so I'm going to go out to the desktop, double click on my DW, hit select. The next thing we need to do is drop down here with the advanced settings, click on the local info tab, and we want to go out to that images folder that I created in the DW folder on the desktop. That's where all of my default images are going to be stored. Click open, select, and then you just need to click save. Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 provides you with 16 different CSS layouts. So what we're going to do here is select one of those layouts and then modify it. To do this, we're going to go to File, New, and then the New Document dialog pops up. You've got three different columns. We're going to start out over here with the first column and choose Blank Page, which it's already chosen. In the Page Type column, we want to keep that with HTML. And then in the Layout column, we're going to select one column fixed, centered, header and footer. And the preview for this layout right here displays a padlock symbol. To, and this, what this does is indicates that the width is fixed at a set number of pixels. Now other layouts display a string symbol and that indicates that the width will expand or contract with the browser window. Now we're going to leave all of the other options at their default settings and click down here at the Create button. And now our new page appears in Dreamweaver. It shows as a document with filler text and the default coloring. This document window is where we're going to add our own content and customize the appearance of the page. Right now it's in split view, which shows the code and the design. If you want to customize it and just see the code view, you would click here. And just see the design view, you would click on design view at the top. So let's go back to split. This is split vertically right now, and I like mine, I prefer mine to view it horizontally, so I'm going to go to view and take off that split vertically. I'm going to uncheck that, and now I can see it, the code's on top of the design. The last thing we want to do in this tutorial is save our document. So let's go up here to File, Save As, or Control-Shift-S. And we want to save it as Green Start. And you can either put .htm or .html. It's a matter of user preference, whether you want to use a three-letter extension or a four-letter extension. But by default, if you just were to type in Green Start and hit Save, it saves it as a .html file. So let's hit Save. And as you can see, it saved it automatically as that HTML file. And that's the end of this tutorial.